everyone and welcome to a Jurassic World mod showcase. Yes, I said I wasn't going to do this, but the sheer speed that these mods are coming out doesn't allow me any chance to actually have a coherent series without showcasing them, you know, doing an episode every day, if not twice a day. So instead, we're going to do something better. We're going to release them in here and just see how they how they look, their animations, and then maybe depending on what they are, they get eaten. And then we can see the death animations in everything. All that lovely jazz. So um, first off, of course, you've seen uh, the thumbnail and the title of today's video. We are going to be looking at... Apionis Maximus, made by Jagged Fang Designs. Now, Jagged Fang Designs have done a load of different dinosaur mods. Um, the Pachycephalosaurus, the Taurosaur, I think they really recently released a Tyrannosaurus Rex alternative, and all of these look really, really cool. They're uh, more accurate or scientifically accurate. Some of them have a lot of feathers, or at least, you know, a texture that kind of, imp you know, looks like feathers. I've heard that uh, apparently this game does not like alphas, so adding a lot of feathers is kind of a hard task. So, I think it is the Gallimimus, and instead of it being a Gallimimus, it should be... Oh, the biggest bird that ever existed? Or I think, maybe? <laughs> kind of. I mean, if you really wanted to go, it doesn't... Oh, my God, I just took out a car. <laughs> Oh, it looks gorgeous. Look at it. Is it going to go off into the trees? Are we going to be able to keep looking at it? It's going to decapitate itself on the big tree. Oh, where are you going? What are you, what are you searching for? Actually, let's have a look. What are you looking for? You're looking for water. Well, I've actually changed this place because you may recognize it. This is the Jurassic Battle Arena that we have done in the past. Look at it, it looks so cool with the logs and the different trees and the textures. Oh, and this isn't just the only texture pack that is in the game. There, is, there are loads of different types giving you uh, different grasses, different grounds, and in some cases, different trees. Uh, at the moment, the mod community haven't worked out how to add extra dinosaurs into the game. At the moment, all we know is how to change an existing one. And luckily enough, Frontier have been very kind in giving us about five variations of the same type of dinosaur. So we've got Ankylosaur, Sauropelta, Critonosaurus. They're all Ankylosaurs. The same with these um, Ornithomimids, I think they're called. You've got Gallimimus, Archaeonothomimus, Struthiomimus. Uh, and if you, let's say, you don't need three of them because they kind of look the same. What if you can change one into a... 12 foot turkey! I'm sure that kid from Jurassic Park would have something to say about this if he came face to face with it. Um, <laughs> I mean, it does look feathered. It's obviously not feathered because it's just one simple texture on top of a big blob of a body. I mean, look at the butt wiggle. <laughs> it does kind of give the um, the illusion that there is weight and, you know, the heavy feathered bottom. If I, could, if I can get to it, it's not happy with the trees. A wiggle in there. So, it, it, you know what? For what it is, it looks really cool. There he is beside the toilet. Just to give you a perspective of uh, how big this dinosaur was, or sorry. Well, I guess we could call it a dinosaur. It's a bird, right? Birds are dinosaurs. It was quite big. Um, but I've also made a bunch of them. Uh, that's the wrong one. Uh, oh, I thought I made a bunch of them. Have I not made a bunch of them? No, there they are. Okay. Oh, this should be a regular one. Okay, so we're going to release all these. Now, I don't know whether there is different colors. We're just going to end up releasing a bunch of different turkeys into the enclosure. Uh, unfortunately, this pack doesn't come with um, a change to the dinosaur's uh, look inside the hatchery or their names and stuff. Like, if we go to Spinosaurus, uh, that pack was kind enough to come with um, one of these, which looks amazing. It'd be really cool if every mod did that. Obviously, it's more work. Uh, no, oh, oh, hold on. It's just got a different head. Have you got a bluer head? I think you might do. Yeah, look at it. You got a little blue neck. Oh, that's awesome. That's, that's what I can get behind. I can get behind, like, a little change. Um, I don't mind that. Oh, you got a pay one. You must be Alpine. I mean, I'm assuming all of these, uh, what are they called again? <laughs> Obigo, op, Opionis. Opionis Maximus. I mean, anything with a Maximus in its name's got to be glorious. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at you. Yeah, you've definitely got more of a blue 
God, this camera keeps on zooming out, doesn't it? And they're still coming. What about your head? Oh, you've just got more of a... <laughs> the eyes. The unblinking eyes. They look, they look kind of scary. Do they blink? I don't think they do. I think they're just a texture. Oh, God. It gives like a Night of the Living Dead kind of look to it. It's possessed. And this one, I think, is a coastal. Are you a coastal pattern? You are a coastal pattern. What does that mean? Actually, now I'm starting to wonder. I don't think any of them have different ones. <laughs> imagine being on this tour. Can you imagine? Be like, oh, wait, they're not dinosaurs. What's going on? <laughs> oh, look at them. Glorious running around there. So we have, wait, what? One, two, three, four, five. Have we got five? Is there one flying off? Yeah, I thought there was one just in the middle randomly. I thought I spotted you. You don't want your friends? Oh, it looks so good. Look at that. Looks awesome. Uh, also, with the modded series, because we did do it in challenge mode. Oh, they're all communicating. Uh, because we did do it in, um, what do you call it? In Jurassic challenge mode. It also meant that we had night and day cycles. Sometimes the lighting wasn't right. Whereas this is sandbox and we are able to control everything, I think. Even if we wanted to go to sandbox settings. Yeah, if we wanted to change the color scheme back to default. And then boom, there we go. A more of a greeny bluish kind of tint. And actually, yeah, you can see some of them have uh, a blue little neck and some of them have a pale neck. I'm assuming uh, this is to highlight the um, sexual dimorphism that you've got. So the males would be the brighter colors and the females would be the uh, weaker colors. Which is quite interesting, even though these are all technically different variants. But the moment we've all been waiting for is what happens when we release a T-Rex. But why release a T-Rex when we can release the new and improved toast? Oh, yes. Now, this one looks a lot different to the one in game. Because it's chunky. We have the new chunky Carnotaurus. Another mod. Um, one thing that I realize now, um, after looking at um, the, you know, the Carnotaurus that we get with Jurassic World Evolution, is there was something wrong with it. I didn't know what it was exactly. After looking at this guy, yes, it was too scrawny. This guy's a big chunky meat bull. And he's about to go and find a kill. In fact, I think he's, he's where is he going? Oh, there they are over to the right. Ooh, is it looking for water? It could be looking for water first. Oh, it is. And then the hunt will begin. Woo! <laughs> lovely, lovely. There is a mod on here that actually allows Conotaurus to have its arms more backwards. So it looks a bit more pale paleontologically accurate. We will be able to say this word by the end of my life at some point. I'm assuming. Oh, he's found him. He's found him. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh! Is it gonna be- Oh, can it though? Can it actually kill it? Because it's facing in front of the trees. Oh, he's gonna go for it! He's gonna go for it! Oh, the chicken! Oh, bless it! There you go. So it dies just like a regular Gallimimus would. And Conotaurus happy with its kill. Oh, goes to sleep. <laughs> Great, great. Right, the next thing we need to know is uh, its other animation when it comes to smaller carnivores taking it on. And what better than a dino Deinonychus? Does it look any different? Aha! Without its head crest! Another mod! I think this was one of the creatures from the start that when it was released, everyone was thinking, why does it have the frill? <laughs> Even people who knew maybe that's pale paleologically accurate, um, they weren't really too keen on it uh, because it didn't look practical if I was designing a dinosaur. But then again, dinosaurs, uh, evolution sometimes does abide by practicality, sometimes doesn't. And here we go, we're going to see this guy. Is it looking for water though? Oh, it's lonely and looking for water. Oh, look at that. He wouldn't be able to catch a Gallimimus in a lifetime. Look at that, unless he, you know, ambushed it or something. We've got to keep an eye on this guy, though. I don't know why he's why he's running around this way. He's sort of running towards the Carnotaurus. Don't go that way! You are! Oh my god, this is weird. Like, you, you've got this whole place that you could be looking for water. And you're going to go to the middle to drink? What are you doing? You're just roaming now. Oh, you weren't looking for water. You found water. Oh, 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 we've got the kill. Hold on, let's have a look at this. Oh, 
Here we go. And the hunt begins and ah, taken down lovely. And there is only one more death type of animation uh, that we can get here. And that is the Trodon, I think. I think the Trodon can nip the ankles of the Gallimimus, if I remember correctly. I don't think the Trodon actually goes for a, an instant kill. Well, there would be only one way to find out, and that is to have a look at the Trodon. Yes, the Gerald comes back. We just had an episode on it, and he's already running away. Oh, wow, okay, it's a, it's a weird looking Gerald. It's obviously got a different skin on it. But it still is, Gerald. You can see it's soulless eyes. Ah, Carnotaur's not very happy with him, though. <laughs> Bless him. Carnotaur's ran straight over to him and got him away. Wow, through the log, look at that. <laughs> ran away from the friggin' uh, Carnotaur is right into the Trodon. Oh, God, we got another kill. There you go. Carnotaur has killed another one. Were you even that hungry? Oh, you were. Oh, wow, okay. Well, you probably shouldn't have slept on your other carcass then, should you? Yes. Wouldn't you be terrified if that was you? Uh oh, okay. Just killed something right in front of me. Ah, oh. uh, it's all right. The car can still drive miraculously. You know these Ford Explorers, look at them. I'm sure that would be a total, complete, utter engine failure, but it's doing all right. Oh, wait, no. Trodon! I don't even know how there was a goat in here, but you're not supposed to go for the goat. Oh, it's not. Damn, that would have been so funny. <laughs> oh, they would have as well. The car would have got absolutely battered. That would have been brilliant. Damn, you timed it wrong. You're not supposed to eat that. Ah! Well, anyway, guys, I think we've seen all that the giant... Ar Ariumus Obionus Maximus has to offer, and that is a giant... Fluffy butt. Oh, oh, and then just speaking of chicken drumsticks, there you go. Contoros has killed a third one. <laughs> so, if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like, and until next time, we'll check out another mod. Oh, bye bye.